character design in video games peaked in 2001 with the release of Animal Crossing on the GameCube, or Animal Forest if you lived in Japan. I mean, look at them. These are absolutely perfect. The simplicity of all of these designs ended up captivating millions of people worldwide. But what if we completely disregarded that? What if we took what made the Animal Crossing villagers so special, them being animals, and turn them into humans. This is not at all a new idea. People have been designing Animal Crossing Gajinkas for years now, and this also isn't the first time I've done this on my channel. Go watch the Sanrio video. Um, but this video is actually a collaboration with a few of my fellow artists. This video is a collaboration between me, Chloe Colors, Mavkai, Pistachiomi, and Dexerly, so make sure you go check out their videos after this one. Each of us drew two villagers, one that we picked ourselves, and then all of us drew the same villager, which you'll see in a second. At the end of the video, I'll be reacting to all of their designs, so if you don't want to be spoiled, make sure you go watch their videos first. But anyways, let's get into it! The character that all five of us decided to do was Daisy May. and at this point, while I'm editing the video and recording the voiceover, I haven't seen anybody else's designs for her. Uh, so I went into this completely blind. I'm not very good at drawing children, but Daisy Mae, she's a baby! She's little! So I knew I had to figure it out. The special villagers have pretty specific outfits, so I basically just put her in the exact same outfit she's wearing in her canon design. I knew I wanted her to look really sweet, uh, she looks really curious, I guess. She's new at the at the turn up business, so she's still she's still learning. I believe she's exclusive to New Horizons, so I haven't gotten to know her really well. I haven't played New Horizons in a pretty long time, and even when I did, I didn't buy turnips that much because I'm not into the stock market. So I do think she's really cute though. Um, one thing I didn't keep about her design though was um, the snot on her nose. Uh, that just felt a little gross to draw on a human design, even a child character. I don't know. I just didn't, I just didn't want to. At this point in the design, I was really stuck. I wasn't happy with how she was turning out. I thought she looked kind of strange. And so I was worried that I'd have to throw the whole design away and start over. That was when my friend Beatrice Blur told me that her sleeves aren't short sleeves, they're long sleeves that are tied back. She showed me a picture of what's called a working kimono, and they tied their sleeves back! It's- the sleeves are tied back! So once I knew that, I looked at Daisy May's model again, and that is what she's wearing, that is what her outfit is. So I went back to the design and I fixed it. Everybody say thank you, Beatrice. Anyways, that change added just a little bit more to her silhouette, made it a little bit more visually interesting and also, you know, accurate to the design, which I really appreciate. Other than that, I gave her these kind of blunt cut pigtails as well as some freckles and I thought that made her look really cute. Um, anyways, here is Daisy May. Okay, so I broke the rules a little bit. Technically, for the second one, we were supposed to do like a normal villager, but I really, really wanted to do KK Slider. I know that on my channel, I've pretty much only drawn girls and women, but my specialty actually lies in drawing men. My sketchbook is mostly full of, of boys. So, Drawing K.K. Slider, I knew I wanted to make him really pretty, like those those boys who will sit down and you'll and they'll play a guitar and you'll be like, oh my goodness, he's so cute. So I tried to keep the same like aloof expression he has. Even in game, he doesn't like smile or anything. He just keeps this same expression, which you know. Good for him. I think I accidentally made him look a little angry, which was not my intention. He was just supposed to look maybe like bored? I don't know. Despite that though, um, I tried my best to make him look really pretty. 
uh, the hairstyle I gave him, it was trying, I was kind of trying to mimic, like, the way his ears flopped over with his bangs. I don't know how well that came across, but I tried, I, I don't know, I tried my best. I think later in the speed paint, I fixed the thickness of his eyebrows, because at this point you can't really tell that he's supposed to be KK Slider. Like, I think I was trying to make them like a realistic size, but I, I don't know, you, you can't tell. He doesn't look like KK Slider. Recreating his pose was a little difficult for me because I don't play a guitar. I've never held a guitar. I don't know what, I don't know what guitars look like. So yeah, he's not supposed to be like playing it. He's just supposed to be holding it because I don't know proper guitar playing technique. So. KK Slider is one of the special villagers who isn't wearing any clothes. And now that I think about it, is he the only villager who isn't wearing any clothes? All the other villagers, they're all wearing clothes. Why isn't he wearing any clothes? Everybody else at least wears like a shirt or something. He's just out here naked. Anyways, his clothes. I wanted something that would contrast his skin and hair because he's pretty pale because he's a, a white dog. So I gave him a black turtleneck and some dark-ish pants because I'm predictable like that. Honestly, I want to kiss him. I want to give him a little smooch. I want to... <laughs> I don't know how well I did capturing the energy of the original. I tried to keep the same like blank look in his eyes, make him really aloof looking. I don't know, I'll work on it. Anyways, here is KK Slider. Um, I'm so normal about him. All right, so now we're looking at everybody else's designs and the first one we have is Pistachiomi. Uh, Naomi did Panchetti and of course Daisy May, and I actually don't know what Panchetti looks like, so I have to look her up real quick. Oh, okay, she's cute. All right, so here is Panchetti from Naomi. <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh my God, she's so cute, Naomi. Oh my God, she's so cute. I love her socks, her shoes, her hair. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Naomi said that she was inspired by Gyaru fashion and makeup, and I think that's so cool. I love her so much. Okay, oh my god. Next we have uh, Naomi's Daisy May. <gasps> oh, she's Nido. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god. Her little, oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god, I love her. I love her so much. Next we have Dexterly, and she did Zell and Daisy May, of course. So let's look at Zell. Let's look at Zell. <gasps> Guys, guys, he's so fine. Kiss me on the mouth challenge. Please, 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 sir, sir. Oh my God, he's so fine, oh my God. I love his fashion, the drip, the fit, the sunglasses. Oh my God, I love his hair too. Oh my God, Dexter Lee. Okay, and then Dexter Lee's Daisy May. <gasps> oh, look at her. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh my god And then next we have Moonlight Mav Kai and He did a 12 I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see <gasps> Dude, oh my god Her excess her hair Oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. She's so pretty. Oh my god. I love her. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. This is genuinely so amazing. I'm obsessed with this design, her hair, her outfit, the the jacket, the the shoes, the leg warmers. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. And then his Daisy May. <gasps> oh my goodness, her 
shoes. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I, I know I'm saying cute a lot, but all of them are generally so adorable. I'm obsessed with the way he colors. I'm stealing your rendering style. I'm putting it in my mouth. All right, and then next we have Chloe Colors who did Meringue. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, her little outfit! Oh my god, her hair! Her bow! Oh my goodness, the colors! The colors, oh my goodness! I love her expression, her pose, the strawberries on her skirt and her buttons and her bow. She's so cute! And then her Daisy May. Oh, look at her! Her face! Oh my god! She's so cute! The little bows! Oh my god, she's so precious! I love her expression. She looks so precious! And I like the little bandage! She's so cute! I love her so much! I'm absolutely obsessed with all of these. I'm obsessed! I am obsessed! Everybody, go watch their videos right now. I'm gonna have them linked in the description. Um, while I'm recording this, they haven't actually come out yet, but uh, just know that when they do, I'm going to be the first one watching all of them, all four of them. Uh, their channel links will all be in the description. Please go check them out. They're all genuinely so talented and cool. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I have been Inkyo, and I will see you very soon.